wonder why. Technically. I'm just gonna start drawing. I, um... Hello? Uh, hi. Hello, world. Hello, world. We're technically... We're live, right? Okay, yeah, we are. Sure. <laughs> I have to adjust myself. I only have one screen right now, so I'm gonna be viewing a few seconds behind. Oh, you're fine. Oh, uh, I could stream, like, just Photoshop itself so you guys don't have to see the overlay. Or not. No, it's fine. It's cute. Oh, it is cute. You guys get to see my giant hand covering most of the screen. Yeah, I love Yeah, I love it. I love it. So, I need to... What was I planning to do? I was planning on making a new, uh... A BRB. That's what I needed to make. Okay. Uh... Oh, you were playing two mela. Oh, you're not playing two mela anymore. Not anymore. I was, though. You were. That's how two mallets come in chat. What if I just drew, like, a creature sitting on the toilet saying BRB? Oh, that'd be fun. You could draw your guy who has the weird eyes. Which one? The one, you know, he's got one eye up, one eye down, in like a silly kind of way. Oh yeah, I don't really use that guy anymore. I think it was Agumon pooping on the toilet. Sink BRB. Gotta poop. Uh, I could never be Agumon, you know that. Yeah. We I'd be Agumon. Here. How's this? <laughs> Whoa, thank you for the follow. Is that... <coughs> I think that's centered to the screen. Yeah, that's more or less. I mean, you can move it around. It's It needs to go to a little to the left, but, but it's more or less. There we go. It's me. So thank what's you. like the... What's like the... Do you have like a plan for... The... I'm just... So I'm just doodling right now. Trying to figure out... It seems like your sound alerts browser source is offline. Oh no. Make sure you've implemented the source correctly in OBS. Oh, I, I just added that today. I didn't actually implement it at all. I'll have to fix that later. We took our top scientists. We killed them. We killed them. Maybe you shouldn't have put them in the hollow disk. Maybe I should have collected all of the fucking cards last night. None of this would be happening. Maybe you should have done that. Whatever. Whatever. I don't teach you. I don't need anyone. What do toilets look like? I need to look up a picture like a, of a toilet. It's like a hole in the ground that a guy goes inside. Is that how that works? It's kind of like a tube. Yeah. Toilet. <laughs> okay, there we go. He closes his eyes when he goes to the bathroom, and he doesn't open them until he's walked out of it. Yeah, and I'm always sloppy. I know. <laughs> don't, don't like, call me out. On you called yourself out, I didn't say anything. <laughs> don't agree with me. Oh, so, okay. How's that? <laughs> That's great. Wow. Oh. Thought it was real for a second. Yeah, looks really real, doesn't it? Let me just get the base. Okay. Oh wait, I think. Key, do you want me to um? Do you want me to really quickly uh add, add a little pee puddle to your? You don't yeah. have to, but you can if you want. I mean, he's he's on the job already. He's taking care of it. Wow, really? Incredible. <laughs> yeah, Chicken Little! My little guy. You like him? Oh, wait, why am I naked again? God damn it. What if it was Chicken Little pooping on the toilet? I don't want to make Chicken Little my whole brand. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't, but I do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surrounded Great by minds think alike. I'm surrounded by enemies today. Nice. I'm on I'm on your side. 
Oh, thanks, He's Baba. Very, very kind of and lovely people. You looking in the mirror? This is my enemy. I'm surrounded on all sides. Everybody hates being attacked. Dead. Be fucking attacked. I'm being fucking attacked. What's this about Chicken Little? Oh, I've been streaming Chicken Little recently, and uh, I think I want him <laughs> dead now. Uh, I think I want Chicken Little dead forever and gone. Oh, I mean, he's died, I'd say, more than 50 times. You died over 100 times playing Chicken Little. I haven't died 100 times. Well, maybe but I have. Between the two streams. Oh, yeah, maybe between... Oh wait, it still says Chicken Little! Darn it! I need to forget to edit that! It does say Chicken Little. <laughs> I'm dying, not playing Chicken Little! <laughs> god <laughs> damn it! The, the, oh the, my the, god, the, I keep forgetting... Um, I keep forgetting... Uh, I'm using OBS and not uh, Streamlabs or whatever. So... Uh, it doesn't automatically change it when I start a stream. I have to go into like the creator dashboard in order to do it. It's uh, I hate I hate it. <laughs> okay, I changed it back. We are no longer playing Chicken Little. <laughs> oh god. This is awesome. Don't fall in. Don't fall in. Everything chicken little gameplay happening right now. It really makes you think. More importantly, it makes you feel like you're watching chicken little. It no, it doesn't make me think or feel. I think it should do. It should do. You're right. I changed my mind. It does make me think. You know. Drake memes. <laughs> Drake memes. I can't tell you how embarrassed I am, folks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I probably should actually watch Chicken Little again. I think last time I watched it literally was like in theaters. Um, I love it, that movie. Do you? Do you actually yes. love Chicken Little? I love that movie, yes. Huh. You, you did say you're a big fan. Nobody really knows me, apparently. No one cares enough to try. Are you a big cluck uh, defender? Cluck defense. I study his character. What's what's the resolution for like a screen? Uh, nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Nineteen twenty. One pixel by two pixels. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And hey, that was funny. I'm just gonna change that resolution so I can work bigger. Finding a laugh in the trees. I, I see she leaf. Thank you, Sushi. I feel at peace now. It makes you feel like something, huh? What are these little things showing up at the bottom of your stream? What? These are some the quotes, the like little oh, fortune that's... cookie words. Uh the <laughs> little fortune cookie words? Whatever. Um I have Yeah, I, I there's there's a there's Spotify playing right now so people watching the stream can hear it. Oh, that's that's pretty swag. I know, right? <clears throat> I know, right? What was the name of that song? I don't know. I think there's a ghost. Hunting the shit in the woods. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Uh, I like how your legs trail off into nothing like Yeah, there's like, like a roots. Trail. Yeah. Because I don't have any legs. I have one wispy tail like Genie. <laughs> From Aladdin. I've never had a friend like you. So where where do you poop from if you just have one thing? Like is there a hole in your back like a dolphin but things come out? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. No, it's just slime. It's just slime that like comes from all of your pores, but you have to excrete it entirely. A cloaca. Sure, like yeah, creature. it's a cloaca. Wow. 
Chickens go in. Pies. Pies come out. Kind of pies. <laughs> iPhone 11. <laughs> iPhone 11. I can't tell you how embarrassed I am, folks. Okay. Don't don't worry about the toilet reference of mine. Don't worry about it. Have you have you heard of Fortnite? <laughs> the poo is spiritually teleported. I actually don't poop. This is just my my resting chair for when I need to take a break. Just like the wizards do in that one little wizard boy story. Sorry, <laughs> I don't believe in wizards. Star Wars. Star Wars. Master Yoda, die. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I still have yet to watch the new movies aside from the first one that came out. They don't matter. None of it matters. The new Star Wars movies? Yeah. Well, ah, sorry, that scared me. Well, that was a terrifying sound. I know, right? What next? I think someone's following me. Huh? Oh man, I um, wish I wish my my VTuber could turn like a full 180, so you guys can see me like look behind me when like. Can you, <laughs> can you put in that gif? Can you put in my gif? What gif? Yeah. You know. You. <laughs> oh, that one. You know. Here, I'll give it to you directly. Why? Well, mm. So everyone can know what it and what it's like when your character turns around. I don't know where I would put it, but okay. You can put it, you can put it, uh, right next to me. Okay, I, I, uh, I've improved the, I've improved the little view that I drew. There we go. Whoa, pee puddle. Oh. Oh. Dripping every day. Do you like the little butt cheeks that I did in the, in the reflection? <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's really good. Hold up. Let me let me put Endo's stupid gif in there. <laughs> it's not stupid. It's fucking awesome. It's it's not good. Yes, it is. You know what? I'm out of here later. I don't care. I give a Could shit. Could you add the caption underneath Linus Tech Tips, please? What'd you say? <laughs> Could you add the caption Linus Tech Tips, please? Linus Linus what? <laughs> Linus, Linus Tech Tips. Oh. I, I, I'm trying to draw right now. You guys are... <laughs> I'm sorry, we're distracting you. You're distracting me from drawing me sitting on the toilet. I love, I love the animation so much. It are you going to make things difficult? By human person. Yeah. I, I need to put all of the, uh, all the credits in. Because uh, my emotes are drawn by Food Pips on Twitter as well. Yeah. Have you heard of Overwatch? Uh, I, I have some. I have a couple of friends that have been playing the new Overwatch game, and and it's hard to hear that. It's hard yeah, to hear I have to get better. I just. I. I have every single year. I'm like, well. Maybe I'll try a little Overwatch, a little Overwatch for me, and then I play it and I remember why I stopped playing it. I'm like, oh, this isn't fun. Wait, I don't like sexism and racism. Wait a minute. What thing's off? I've been staring at the sun all day and I just see the devil. It doesn't see the face at all. That's just how it is. I'd like to grab this this thing by its its uh, tendril and maybe like wobble it kind of like you would a laminated board and make it go. The it's sound. one single umbilical cord. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I think it would be cool if it was drooling a little bit too. Oh, like mm -hmm. like a. Yeah, like a little bit of dribble coming off of his. Yeah. Yeah. This, yeah, this is a sickly beast. I think it would be cool if he looked like Agumon. You just want me to- you just want to see me draw Agumon. That's what you want to see. 
You know, I would like that, but I don't know if I've ever gotten that from you, really. You, I got something else. I've literally drawn you Agumon so many fucking times. No, I think you've you've drawn me, like, Endo, Francisco de make... Goya's version of Agumon. Endo, would it make you feel better if I drew you an Agumon? Yeah, because I don't think you would try and, like, one... stab me in the back. Oh, yeah. Okay, someone in chat says one more Agumon couldn't hurt. I'll draw Agumon right now. Oh. No, see, like I know that I can't trust you to draw Agumon. You're gonna, you're gonna draw some kind of wimplicious beast. Wimplicious. How's this? Oh, this is good. Oh. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the part that that makes me sad. I'm waiting for the part that that makes me angry. Maybe. It's yuppy. <laughs> okay, actually, that's pretty good, yeah. Thanks, dog. <laughs> you laugh like- you laugh like a prospector that just found yeah, gold. You just, you just found like, gold. I thought that was <laughs> good. There you go. Anyway. Oh, thanks, man. No, no, no! Bring him back! Bring him back! <laughs> He's really small now. Hey guys, I'm just so small, I'm gonna go play in the microwave and I could jump over all of the little beams of electricity. <laughs> I'm always saying shit like that. We always say shit, shit like, like that. that. Smalls, I'm gonna small your Digimon if you're not careful. Smalls your Digimon. I think we should make that gif of the guy turning around bigger. <laughs> no. I think we're good. Yeah, he says, so apology, the gift gets bigger. So, honey, did you make any new friends tonight? <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Made a gift of Agu, man. Does that count? Yeah. Can I see? I love Agu, man. Yeah, I was lying. I've been playing Pokemon this whole dang damn time. This whole ding dang time? Wait, so how, yeah. how far are you in Pokemon right now, Lou? Not far, I've uh, been doing other stuff this past few weeks, I've, maybe, I've done one gym and one Titan Pokemon. Um, I've just mainly been running around, you know, looking after my, looking after my boys, um, just having fun. You know how it is. I, I'm just, I really hope that they patch some of the issues. Apparently, I was looking up whether, um, whether a patch is coming or not, and, and apparently some some customer service people have said, oh, this is the first time you've gotten any complaints about the performance of Pokemon. And I'm like, that sounds like a lie. That single, single dang second. That sounds like a silly um, little lie. They've been covering their ears for 20 years about it, so that is not true. lying. Smalls your Digimon. I, I, I wish that game looked even a little it was so weird um i bought uh bravely default recently uh because i i played the first one and i have conflicting feelings about that but i won't go into it but i wanted to try the second one and i was like why does this game like look so good um and and i, I realized the oh would give them, like, enough time <laughs> It's because I've been playing with limiters on. I played Pokemon. You took your you took your ankle weights off. Pokemon Truth and Lies is gonna be next gen. Oh, that's great. We should do Pokemon Bones and Pokemon Meat next. Whoa, what are you, ugly thing? Wretched beast. What'd you get? It's uh, it's it's ugly. It's uh, a drowsy, I think. I get the names mixed up. Yeah, it is a drowsy. Oh, is it like the tapir looking guy? Yeah, I wish they didn't have the lower half of the body covered in mud all the time. <laughs> you don't like it? He took a dip in the in the poo poo pits. Yeah, that's he's, that's he's a chocolate dipped banana, and I Here. love his design. <laughs> let me let me draw. I love Dowsy. Let me draw Drowsy oh, this, real quick. With could me. you wait? Could you draw him next to like a really big glass of chocolate milk? 
Uh, yeah, sure. So he could have a little sippy. This is mandatory. A pitch wagon man is how it feels to be a grilled cheese man. Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. the third yeah, action. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Pokemon lawsuit. Chalky. Pokemon perjury. <laughs> Whoa. Here, let me, let me draw a drowsy real quick. Pokemon War and Hell on Planet Earth. This already looks fucking great. <laughs> I'm working really small here. This looks like a smiling friend's character. Uh, well... <laughs> Close enough. Whatever. <laughs> Pokemon has a friend now. I have a How's my biblically this accurate anxiety. toilet? This anxiety. There it is. Are you gonna give it up? My biblically accurate toilet. I mean, is it, is it right? <laughs> this is this looks just like the toilet that Jesus died on. <laughs> <laughs> you are the king. This this good. What can I tell you? Cross level would be good if they did the. Oh, oh sorry. That was scary. I Guys, if we can, if we somehow people. can reach 1K by the end of the year, I will drink nothing but Morbius G Fuel Pilk. For for the rest of your life. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's for that's for you to find out and for me to know. I, you know, I don't live I mean, with these. Probably, if you drink, if you drink enough of it, yes, for the rest of it your would life. be the rest of your life. <laughs> and on the third day, he rose again. So true. Okay, I wanna like. Oh, let me do that. Oops. Pokemon love and Pokemon hatred. Pokemon whiff and Pokemon smell. Pokemon poop or Pokemon pee? Which one are you gonna choose? Mm. Oh, this is so difficult. Oh, you, you, you know I gotta dive into those pits. You know I gotta muck it up in the. Never mind. Yeah, no. You finish know, that thought. You know, I, you know I gotta, I gotta take a swim in that gravy. Sorry, Commander. It's still my turn in the poo poo pits. <laughs> People are watching. I... What'd you say? People are watching just does say say poop over <laughs> and over again. Talking about poop and pee while I draw myself sitting on the fucking toilet? Yeah. I like how there's also like, I think this is Legend of Zelda music playing while, while we talk about poop and pee. Village of Rinoka? I just wonder what yeah, Ganon's up to. My boy. My boy. My boy. Can we do a stream of the CDI Zelda games maybe, perhaps? How, These how would we stream it? Um, I can emulate them. Oh, you can? I have a functioning emulator like for me somewhere. Just put two feet in front of the other. What are you quoting? <laughs> it's the song you're listening to. The what? Oh. <laughs> no one, no one... <laughs> and uh, no one can hear the song you're listening to. It sounds like you're mumbling into the distance. No, it's the song no, you're it's listening to. Oh, am I listening to? I thought yeah, you were listening. Yeah, the song is called... Listen, no. put two feet in front of the other. Listen, I, I, this playlist was given to me by the wonderful Valdivia on Twitter.com. I don't actually mm. know what's in it. 
I, like, I think I we need to have a I, shower. I, I, like, I have an edited version that it removed all the dumb stuff, if you'd like that. Oh. I just want to hear the two feet. And I put I put something in a in in the cat for you. Did you? Whoa! See now that's a real Agumon. That's what I'm fucking talking about. That's so oh. swag. Man, Dennis, you're like really good at drawing. I'm getting kind of flustered. <laughs> What you say? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> For Valdivia's recent birthday, he was permitted one dubstep. Not anymore. Oh, I'm <laughs> taking it. Nope. It ain't. Not it. anymore. It ain't his birthday, no mo. That's like a good enough toilet, sure. Yeah, that will do, why not? It makes me feel something. Does it? I don't know what I meant by that, sorry. <laughs> but does it? No. I just it like... makes me think of it makes me think of the bathroom experience. Are there any bathroom themed games? Couldn't couldn't be, right? No one would make it. One of those urinal games that you can play in Japan where you pee and your pee stream controls like guys running on a screen in front of you. There's a there's a mini game like that in Yakuza. Where you where it's like it's called toilets, but with like a Y, so it's like toilets. Why is the toilet ref of a triangular tank? To go in triangular rooms, you, you dummy. It's for it's for the corner of of, of your bathroom. <laughs> We're trying your rooms. It's so then you can have two toilets facing each other in your room <laughs> in the corners. <laughs> and you can have four, you corner. four corners in the corner of a little little small room, and you can all play hungry hippos with your feet. <laughs> you can't say that. I can say whatever I like. You can't say hungry hungry hippos, but with your feet. You control the buttons you press. <gasps> oh my god. Hey guys, really, really oh. big news. Uh, Jungle Skog has a son. Whoa. Do you have a picture of Jungle Skog so I can put him in the chat so people know what you're talking about? Yeah. Uh, here, I'll send you. I'll send you a, a link. Every, everybody knows what Jungle Skog looks like. Well, not everyone. I'm just saying. Oh, I love him. Most of my competition JFK assassination. Oh. My son wants to lie on like a very specific. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great, little guy. I thought he had a bottle of wine for a second. I was like, no, what I is that? He's sharing a bottle of wine with his son. There we go. My one of my cats wants to like sit. He wants to sit like in a very specific way on my lap, but in doing so, it makes it impossible for me to draw. Uh, you should you should grab hold of him and say no, 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 as you like hold his head really, really tight. And I just shake him and I shake him. I, I no, love no, shaking baby. little little things or whatever and filling them up with milk. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta you gotta grab hold of his head and say not now, sweetie, daddy's playing Minecraft. No, sweetie, daddy's filled with milk. He's on the little blanket by my tablet right now, and I'm scratching his butt. Aww. And he is he is filled with gratitude. Oh, okay. yeah. Baby boy. I love I love how like look at that awesome <laughs> turlet imp. Yeah, baby. Uh, <laughs> Turlet, turlet. 
Mm -hmm. Does it make you feel something? Isa! Oh my god, Hi, Isa's Isa. here. Hello. OMG. <coughs> oh my god. It's an Isa party that... now. Oh, scary. What was that sound? <laughs> Guys, did you hear that? I'm like really scared right now. Ow! Ow! Baby! Kill him! No. Grabbing my toes. So if you tell him not to do that, say get off, you little freak. What other, co what other colors are, gonna... are on are on the human body? I'm just gonna there's see like oranges. Really gonna there's there. like oranges and pinks. There's like blues. Like oh, undertone. you should you should sweep, Isa. Also, uh, I put a I think I put a limit on the on the on the chat, so I think only a certain number of people can join. Uh, voice chat, not not. Twitch chat. <laughs> as many people as you want can join Twitch chat. In fact, I encourage it. Baby! In fact, we need one message a minute, otherwise Q will die. You with my big teeth. Oh, God. Ah! Ah! Oh, wait, where did my blush go? There we go. Yeah. Oh, wait, I should probably look up references to the thing that I'm drawing. Because I am yeah, basing like it you... off of something. Oh, what are you basing it on? Uh, the the little guy on my VTuber belly. Oh, that thing. Yeah. I've seen it. There it is. Look, there he is. There he is. Oh, Whoa. he doesn't have any teeth. Well, I'm gonna give him teeth. He's yeah. gritting. He, he's gritting his teeth. Yeah, he's he's like, like, <laughs> He doesn't have teeth, so he bought some like fake ones to like. Yeah. Him. The being. There we go. I can actually pull colors off of this. The beast. I can't. I can't say the beast anymore without thinking about the fucking movie. Oh, I think of the beast as demonic in nature. Yeah, I think of that video. Yeah, just the way that they kept talking about the beast in in the two thousand what was it two thousand nine Beauty and the Beast. Oh, <laughs> the the oh uh, the entity. I can't pronounce that. I don't know how that be said. The abom entity. I don't. English isn't my first language, so that's you know what. That's fair. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I, I don't remember, like, Maybe think stuff. before you sniff. <laughs> so cool. Okay, um... English is my 1,000th language. He knows 1,000 languages. Every day. Every day I think of that. Oh shit, I've been drawing on the wrong layer. Well, oh, shit, uh... If you guys see me leaning over, it's because my, uh, my keyboard is behind my tablet. Because, uh, my desk isn't big enough. And also, the, the stand that my tablet is on is really fucking annoying. I really wanna, I really wanna buy one of those ergonomic arms you can get for your tablet. At some point. Oh, that would be pretty Oh, cool. Nate! Hi, Nate! <laughs> Hold up. How do I... F I want to put an emote in. <laughs> yes, Pog. Whoa, it's the, the one you give them name. Hey, can someone take my hungry ass to Taco Bell? Can someone take my hungry, hungry ass to Taco Bell? After Fuck. I finished the stream last night, I, I immediately went outside and said, Endo, can you take my hungry ass to Taco Bell? What are, what are these images Sam put in here? Can you take my hungry hippo ass to Taco Bell? What are you talking about, Endo? Oh, like... Like Kennedy's 
like bodyguards, oh, but they're yeah, like... it's it's uh, the JFK assassination. Um, but there's a muscle man competition going on at the same time. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, that's that's really fucking funny. I like I like the third one a lot. Depressed and get down. Wow, that's awesome. A muscle man competition makes you feel something. Right? Oh my god, <clears throat> I was supposed to try in and out for the first time today, but my friend couldn't pick me up for shame. Uh, I'm gonna say this You've now. Had in and out before. Oh, you're no, Isa. Out, Isa hasn't tried it. Isa. I'm gonna say this now. Five Guys is better. I like Five Guys more. Yeah. I think they're, they're, you're getting, you're paying different amounts of money for different things, and I gotta say, it's, I think it's, it's not bad. I think it's good for what you're getting, at least. But, but if you wanna, if you're willing to pay, uh, $30 for a burger, Five Guys is pretty good. Five, five guys burgers and fries. We all need five guys to be able to pay for one burger at Wild Garden. Um, I just need five guys. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. You need five guys. If you, you know what I'm saying. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I need I need a little Agumon to hug right now. Where's my hug? Where's my Agumon? The five guys by my by my uh, apartment has been replaced by a place called Halal Guys. Oh, oh I've heard of Halal cool. Guys. I've yet to try it though. I heard it's yeah, good. Yeah. Should make a five guys but epic. Five guys but epic would be uh five girls. Five girls. Do you have five guys in the UK, Lou? Yeah, we have a bunch that just opened up recently. Um so for the longest time ever, there was one Tim Hortons in the whole UK, and mm -hmm. one Five Guys in the whole UK. And over the past two years, near my house, they've opened up, I'm gonna say six or seven of each. Mm -hmm. I don't know why there's so many. Tim Hortons is okay. Five Guys is really expensive, but good. I, it's it's burgers. It's burgers. I The, the real question burgers, is, baby. do the Five Guys there still have those, like, giant swaths of peanuts you can just like kind of oh take yeah they free. just have like bags of peanuts open by the door that's great uh if you have it's a peanut cool, allergy right? uh fuck you <laughs> it's a way of them saying that this place isn't for people who hate nuts <laughs> whoa whoa my eye is forming your eye is forming oh one swallow, you know, one bulbous, bulbous, bulbous thing going on. Sorry, I got distracted. Somebody sent me a message as I was talking. Oh. What about A and W? <laughs> Is that what I for? <laughs> I, I'm trying. What's the actual name of that place? A and W. That's not what they're actually called. I, I, I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. No, wait. Is it, it A and W? Oh, thank you for no. the follow. Another jump scare. I, I wish. I can't take that noise anymore. Dude, that's really loud. Is that usually how loud? Can we turn is? that down? No. Oh, it is A and W. He calls it something else, but I've never eaten at all A and W All American food. I will say mm -hmm. I've eaten. Has anyone here eaten at Golden Corral? Yes. Yes. I that's went there oh, only. Is that the place that sells the gravy. No, no. that's Cracker Barrel. <laughs> no, okay. I don't think it. Ha... Who is here has eaten at Cracker Barrel aside from me? I yeah. have. You have? Okay. I'm thinking I'm Matt's really never. Cracker. Matt's never had Cracker Barrel. Um, yeah, I'm not white enough. It's not good. So, um, I the best way to describe Cracker Barrel is um, Rainforest Cafe, but for, for Southern America. People that love Confederate flags is, is what I've heard. Um, every I just, 
I don't. They're super big. They're like all wood. Um, so it's really it's really scary. And then like the front has like a million a million like rocking chairs and there's always at least like five old people like in those rocking chairs they're like the animatronics at rainforest cafe but instead it's just old people um and animatronics have, uh, of old people uh, it's not actual old animatronics people. it's actual old people but it gives the same vibes as the animatronics from uh, they have like a big gift shop with like rock candy and shit yeah oh, there should be a gift shop where you can buy an old people just 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 go out just it's easy. You can just find old people on the streets. You, you can just find an old person anywhere, and then ask them really nicely. IP. Hey. I've I, I you know it's it looks like good 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 country cooking. It look it look good some so, some hospitality and cooking. And, I and I heard that life. Cracker Barrel can be really good, but the few times I've eaten there, not only was it a horrible experience, but I had like the worst shits of my life afterwards. Oh my god. Every th every every conversation with you people has to do with your insides coming to your outsides. Listen, that's the America you need, experience, baby. You need to go to the hospital. <laughs> Some of us have. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Some of us have been gifted with the power of uh, go to the hospital due to poop problems. <laughs> Love my friends. I hope that poop problems get better. You know what? I'm gonna merge everything into one layer. I don't care. I'm playing. I'm playing on the risky side today. Dana, dangerous game. You won't steal a car now, would you? You feeling lucky, punk? That's what Clint Eastwood says. Is that really? And crack a barrel. Did you know he directed? Did you know he directed a, a version of Jersey Boys, a musical that most people have not heard of? I don't. Yeah, I don't know what Jersey Boys is. Is this the one that we're gonna have to watch? Uh, no. Uh, it's it's about it's about how do I how to describe this? Uh, it's about the band called Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. Um. I saw that in theaters, <laughs> Italian court. I the only reason why I saw it in theaters was because my friend in high school, for her birthday, uh, her mom took us to go see Jersey Boys in theaters, against my will. <laughs> very very weird movie to play for your sweet sixteen, but there we were. Um, Jersey Boys. It's literally just like a bio, biopic of, of of like. A, a jersey band and that's it the old actually the best italian uh, italian core like musician is lou monti i love lou monti i love songs about christmas donkeys i love songs about christmas donkeys and i love songs about like loving loving your your big wife Because the more there is of you, the more there is to, to love. Quote, quote him. How can we forget Tommy Tallarico? How can we forget? You know, he's won eight, eight Oscars, eight Guinness World Records. His mom's very proud of him. His mom's very, um, very proud of him. <laughs> I'm so glad that video came out. Because I've, I've said a million times, like, hey, this guy's insane. Everyone should go check this guy out. Um, and I'm so glad that everyone gets to finally, because it's so difficult to like talk quantify about it. how how crazy he is, because you have to you have to like be aware of like the specific show he was part of, and his industry and like all the little little bits about his his whole thing. Mm -hmm. He's a crazy man. I love I love every, the fact that everyone now knows that he just lied about having like eight Guinness World Records and and you know having like the record for for being in the most games or whatever. He's a, he's great. I really want to know if he's going to respond to that video. Do you think he's going to try and sue H Bomb again? Do you think he's going to try and sue him? I think he. I think he'll give it a go for defamation. Def but like, in order for it to be defamation, it has to be like a lie, right? Yeah, but Tommy's not a very smart man. He lied about things that were like very easily checkable. <laughs> 
a lot a lot of his lies were like did you work on this game yes i did and and the answer that you can you can very clearly check by asking anyone that works on those things is just did you work on it no no he didn't <laughs> not a crazy man the dance of italy i love i love tommy Tallarico or whatever <laughs> I just I, I like that it's it's um he'll get another Genesis world record about telling the most lies in the game industry. Uh I hope so. I goddamn I hope, hope so. so. I hope he I hope he gets so many world records. It's just interesting to see cuz cuz uh the funk land also did a video about trying to find like the credit to a sound too. And they're both very different <laughs> in in a in how they explore their subject matter, but they're both really, really good videos. Okay, what are you ready? Okay. Uh -oh. One thing I don't like about Photoshop, I don't know why I still paint in this thing now that I actually know how to use Clip Studio, because I don't like I don't like painting in Clip Studio either. But Clip Studio does have like a quick switch for uh, flipping your canvas, which is really nice. Pretty cool. Isn't it? I really I really wish Photoshop had that. But it like it has to physically switch your entire canvas. It's not like just like a little preview. Beautiful day. Keep it just lovely, isn't it? Whoa! Lisa finally spent some fucking points. I never- I don't really understand how the points work on Twitch. Is it like- is it like a currency you get for like watching a stream long enough? Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just, uh... Oh. It's just, uh, hey, you watched, like, 12 hours of my stream. Here's some shiny V-Books. I mean, it, it prevents, you know, it, it means that, hey, you watched, like, 12 hours, you get to, like, make a message that everyone sees, which is, is better than making people pay for it, I think. That's true. I do want to try to implement that sound effect thing for when we, uh... Where we play Chicken Little. I think that'll be very funny. I think it'll be good. It won't annoy you. It won't make me, like, feel every emotion at once. Every negative emotion at once. Oh, glasses on the face? I'll probably do that after, because I usually like painting everything on one layer. I'll add that in once I finish everything. Wait, Liz, how did you find out about Tony Tallarico? So a few years ago, um, you know, HBO, I touched on this very briefly, but uh, I found about him because at E3 a few years ago, he announced a console called the um, Intellivision Amico. And I was aware of the Intellivision because, um, you know, it's it's an old games console. It's it's one of the original games consoles from the from the 8-bit era. But basically, um, he bought, an, or, or his team had uh, gotten hold of the, the license to the name. And they were like, oh, we're gonna make some new games for, like, a, a console or whatever. And I did a little bit of research, and as it turns out, most of the people he has 
that he signed up to work on this project have all been either blacklisted from the industry or have been told, hey, we just don't want to work with you because you're kind of an asshole. Like the Earthworm Gem guy, he's on the project. Mm -hmm. um, oh, thank you for the, the, the guy who, The guy who runs that one nationalist podcast. Uh -huh. Um... So, so I like, I started like researching Tommy and it's just, every part of his life is wild. He's just, just so bizarre. He's, he's just a weird man. Yeah. Yeah, that video was you wild. Know, Hi, some crazy person watch. posted this in their server. Howdy. Whoa. Who posted about this? I got to know. Some crazy person. It's probably me. That was no, me. That was it, a lie. It was me. Yeah, it was I I just that the Tony Tallarico video like made me <laughs> fucking go insane watching it. He's real. He's a real guy that exists in the real world. Well, what I couldn't believe is that he just lied about being on MTV's Cribs. That one's so bizarre because there's only a finite number of Cribs episodes. It's not like the number of games in the world where you can you can feasibly lie and say, yeah, I worked on a bunch of games that don't exist. Because, like, th there's no, like, authority to check, like, who, which games exist. You can just make up a bunch of fake names and then say the project fell through, and that's fine, whatever. MTV but is... But the, the Cribs like... one, there's, like... There's like 20 episodes of that show, and he claimed to have been on it twice. No, he, no, he said he said it a couple of times, a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I think is wild. Well, I love I love cool video essays like that. Like I, the Evermore one is one of my favorites of of recent date. That one's so wild. I've been waiting for the Evermore one forever. It's so cool. I just can't believe- so I- I looked, like, I could feasibly technically drive to Evermore to see it. Do I want to? No. No, um, you could go to a real theme park instead. I could go to an actual theme park instead. But, um, kind of seeing the follow-up of that video too, like, Evermore has not gotten better either. It's wild. How do things keep getting worse? Things keep getting worse. What was Steven Universe in this game? Steven Universe? Yeah, they put Steven Universe in Pokemon. Wait, which Pokemon are you talking about? Oh, it's just a guy that looked like Steven Universe. Oh. Same child. Goes to Evermore with Tommy. Oh, what a what a sensory nightmare that would be. That would be great. I'd I'd love to go to Evermore with Tommy Tallarico, creator of the Intellivision Amico. So the Amico's not is never gonna come out, right? Like that's just So there are reports of people who have seen this console and have used it. Mm hmm Um now you've you've seen what it looks like, right? It looks like a foot spa. Yeah. Um and there's reports that people have it, but nobody's I, I don't believe anyone's actually done any video like reviews or anything. Mm -hmm. I can I can look that up now. Uh... You know what? I'm just gonna go to the review. Just... Oh, there is there is a ha one hands-on review. Oh, sorry, no. There is one hands-on review from a year ago. Um, and it appears that that was actually just at a live event where this person was allowed to play around with it for an hour. His console um, is flopping harder than the Ouya. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> it's not even out yet. It's so bizarre. It's it's such a bizarre thing. Like, because there's little individual ideas that are cool. Like, the fact that you can connect your phone as, like, for a family-friendly console for, like, families. It is it is supposed to be for families. Um, the idea that you can connect your phone and use that as a controller instead of going out to buy new controllers. Mm -hmm. I'm sure somebody would like that. I'm sure families would like that. Who knows? Yeah. It's just so strange. What a strange man. I just... I, I was watching a video pretty much like documenting every known console that was made, like every well-known one. And like, I think it was like, 
kind of the early era of, era of video games where people would have their own console or whatever and there were just 10 million consoles coming out it was wild wild west of consoles and now there's like only like what three or four really well-known ones that people buy yeah there's three when when they started making android boxes everybody had one steam tried to do one they had the steam box thing mm -hmm. um there's like a few quote retro console type things um like like uh, retron makes them but yeah it's just it's just the three big guys uh, nintendo sony microsoft and tommy tommy's trying to make his his own special little toy um he's got real my own works at nintendo energy <laughs> he's got oh, real cool. i work at nintendo energy <laughs> I, he, he told he told all the other kids in the playground that his uncle works at nintendo and then somehow between uh, the the first period and and uh lunch break he decided no i'm the one that works at nintendo he just changes his mind. He's just a crazy guy. I love him. Oh, someone brought up that PC gaming know. killed a lot of consoles. Yeah, I it's think true. so. I'm not, not, nothing necessarily wrong with that because, hey, everyone has a PC for the most part. Yeah. Um, so if you want to, I don't know, if you want to play Fortnite or whatever, PC gaming and, and also being able to play a game on your phone probably did its job. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah no, like like mobile mobile games like have killed a lot of actual games. Not to not mm. to sound dire, but I think that's a fair thing to say. Um, as as much of a shame as it is, I, I've known I've known several projects and I've worked on a couple of projects that were meant to be actual releases and then it got turned into mobile games. Mm -hmm. I can think I can think of at least two. Um, eh. but but it's it's good for the most part that more people can experience things and not have to buy a whole new machine to kind of take part in in, in a story that somebody's made for them. Yeah, well, I do I do appreciate how like game development has become more accessible, mm. which I think is a good thing. Oh, oh yeah, for the longest time, if you wanted to say make something for. Um, a Sony console, you'd have to call up and get a dev kit, and that's thousands of dollars. Um, but now you can just do it straight from your computer, and that's that's pretty cool. Or, or you know, a Microsoft dev kit, you just buy an Xbox, and now that is a Microsoft dev kit. Yeah. It's like, oh, you can just make games now. You can just make them from your computer or your your phone sometimes. Yeah. Just oh, it's it's cool that anyone can take part in this, and the, the tools are so so readily available. It means that you get more weird weird shit. Yeah. How does this Just work? Good. Oh, this looks good. I glanced away from the screen for a second, and, uh, yeah, this is it. What if I was juicy? Like, like gooey? Yeah, what if I was juicy and gooey? Oh, that would be good. That would, like, make me feel something. Probably disgust. RPG Maker was a big thing for a reason. Yeah, I, I love RPG Maker. RPG Maker's fantastic. Great, great. I still use it. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I like I like RPG Maker a lot, and I'm I'm glad that they moved on from Ruby. I think it was called their old like. Oh God, yeah. The old programming language. Yeah. It's on JavaScript now. Yeah. Yeah. The, the the tools like RPG Maker and and in some cases Unity and things. Um, that one visual novel tool that everyone uses. Oh, Rempy. Uh, Rempy, yeah. Tools like that that are basically. You know, pre it's a pre-made game, and then you just apply your own skin to it, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, and oh, you thank you. And tools. Thank you for reminding me to drink water and stretch my hands. Drink your water and stretch your arms. Yeah, I'm. I'm really glad that tools like that are, are popular and accessible because it means that, you know, may maybe somebody doesn't want to make something with the most groundbreaking gameplay, but they have a story they want to tell, or they have a little, a little short experience they want to give or maybe somebody's a fantastic artist but doesn't really have have the programming know-how to kind of output that and and you know, tools like that are really good for for being accessible to people yeah oh good night so, uh, oh goodbye good night and goodbye see you later um yeah i i i do appreciate i i think that more games should be made even though we're gonna get more stinkers because that means Free cake!
free cake. I mean, yeah. If, a... if more games, if more games are made, then you'll get some. You'll get some bad ones. You'll get some good ones. And from the bad ones, you might inspire people. Or you know, somebody might make a bad game and then look at it and say, "Well, this wasn't a great project that I did, but I liked these bits that I worked on." And then from there, you know, you can make some good stuff. You can learn from mistakes, and that's cool. I'm a pixel artist, and I bought RPG Maker as a way to learn how to make game assets. Yeah, it's it, yeah. RPG Maker is a really, really good like starting point, and in some cases, a, a really good way to sort of just make full games. It's fantastic. Yeah. Some, some of my favorite games are RPG Maker games. Uh, off anyone? <laughs> every every pony loves off. Every pony loves off. I think I I think I did post my off playthrough on my archive channel. I would have to check. You know, one thing I am glad about is I've only ever gotten Carpal Tunnel once. I haven't gotten it since. Um, well. so the, I still get Cubital Tunnel from time to time, which sucks. In my right arm for some reason? Even though I don't draw in it? <laughs> Just don't make no sense. Oh, good night. Oh, good night. You know what I do want to stream sometime though? I want to stream myself playing Final Fantasy X on the PS2, baby. After I finish Chicken oh, Little, who knows when that well, will be if, though? If you do ten, I'll do ten part two. <laughs> oh, you want to like trade off? Yeah. You you do the you do the first fifty hours and I'll do the second fifty. How come you get to play as the girlies? <laughs> because it's fun. Damn. I like I like Final Fantasy Ten though. I think it's like was it the first one of the first Final Fantasy games to have voice acting in it? Oh, I have never played it. I just have it. I've I've never gotten the chance to play. It. Oh, you're blushing. I am. I've been blushing. I can oh. also do this. I've been I've been staring at the at the gooey beast this whole time. Oh, Final Fantasy X2, a rhythm game. I don't oh, know. Sense. I've actually never played X2. Um. Sans. Sans, Sans under. The only thing I know about X is that it has really really impressive ice shaders and crystal shaders, and looks surprisingly beautiful for a PS2 game. It's about, it's idols. about idols. Yeah, Yuna, Yuna went from being like uh, having the weight of the world on her shoulders to becoming a pop idol. And I think that's very powerful of her. Yeah. I like 10. I like 10. Um, not yet. Yeah, Final Fantasy 10 was, in fact, a PS2 game. Mm. Final Fantasy 10 was a PS2 game. Yeah, uh, they did a PS3 release, which I remember. Um,. I, I remember it being on PS3 as well, because I remember thinking, isn't it weird that a game's on two different consoles? Because uh, you know, I, I didn't realize at the time that that was normal, because mm -hmm. I was a baby. But you know. Oh, Ten Two is also uh, on PS2. Um, I would know, I own both. I can go outside and look at my collection to see. I, I have both on the desk next to me. Uh, you play Final Fantasy X, I'll play Spyro. I I have the Spyro where Elijah Wood is voicing him, and oh, and, I've got that one too. And Gary Oldman is also there. Whoa, is he? Yeah, he voices one of the dragons. So cool. I think. So cool. And so quiet. Brian's so quiet. I am calculating numbers yeah, in my head right I'm, now. I'm I'm messaging uh I'm messaging the owner of that tattoo shop. Hey Lou, what do you think of this guy? What do you, what do you think? Where, where, where I gotta look? Where I got to see? On the stream? Yeah, what are your thoughts on this guy? He looks great! He's all gooey, all slimy. Love the little, little booga that's just like going down your face. Yeah, should I have a little hat on? That's not a fucking oh, bubble or whatever. You could do that, you could do like a little, a little nightcap. I could. Hmm. 
Yeah. Oh, look at your slimy little little Honest, balls. I think the PS2 is one of my favorite consoles of our time. It's the one I grew up with. Thanks to that, I could play Kingdom Hearts. My favorite experience is Kingdom Hearts. I love the PS2 and the PS3. Those are my two favorite consoles. I never got to have a um, PS3. I missed on that entire generation of consoles because... I it was know. an ugly console, but it had a lot of good games. And yeah, a lot of fun yeah, with Ratchet I, and Clank on there. Mm -hmm. The only the the only game I got it for was for Little Big Planet, um, and I found a lot of games that I wouldn't have found otherwise, like Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. Um, what else? That was pr yeah. They're just a lot of fun games for the PS3. I'd love to get one of those backwards compatible ones. So. Uh, Oh, PS3? The, the I PS3 thought PS3's whole thing was that it wasn't backwards compatible. The first uh, round of them, the the um, chunky ones, um, those ones are backwards compatible with PS2 games, but all the other ones are just compatible with PS1 games. Oh. You know how it be. I do know how it be. Oh, I'm like looking at pictures of the PS3 right now. I'm like, oh my god. Why are that you was so fucking ugly. Why are you so I love the one that's got the Spider-Man font. Yeah. You see, my so I I my my I didn't even have a GameCube as a kid. Now that I think about it, but um, my my timeline is I owned a uh, I owned a uh, I owned a Wii, N64. Wii. And the PS2. And then after that I got... The only consoles I actually stayed up to date with were, were the DS's. Uh, but I never had a PS3. Uh, never had any Xboxes. I hate... I had an Xbox 360. I hated that thing. I was like... The only games I had on it were like football games. We had a PS1. Two. And then we traded both of those for PS3. Um, and we also had a Wii at the same time, and then I just bought the, um, DS, I bought the handheld consoles myself. Um, so I, so I had a, the original DS, and then probably, probably only five or six years ago I bought a 3DS, um, and then sold that, and a friend gave me their 3DS XL fairly recently. Mm -hmm. Um. I see the, the 3DS has a good library. I loved it. Yeah, I loved the 3DS. That was, that was good. That was perfect. Oh yeah, I, I, I forgot to mention, I also had a Wii U. Uh, that one I got because my aunt was working at Best Buy, and she won it at like the end of the year like employee party. They were, tr they were trying to get rid of them. They, they had a they, big box of them in the cupboards. They needed to get rid of that thing. You got, you got an 8 gigabyte Wii U and a copy of Nintendo Land. Um, I didn't even get a copy of Nintendo Land, I had Mario Party. Whoa, for the Wii U, the one where you're all in the car and it sucks? No, that's Mario Party. I had Mario Kart. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. Um, I, I, I will say, I did get to play Splatoon, and that was really fun. Um, I, and then Splatoon was like my gateway into playing shooters, because I used to hate shooters until then. Hmm. I, I think the only shooter I played for, like, probably the first... I'm gonna say 18 years of my life would have been... Uh, Fallout 3? Mm -hmm. No, Fallout New Vegas, which says a lot. Um... But, but that was for the PS3 as well, so I don't know. Oh no, sorry, I lied, I got the orange box for PS3. Oh wow. The best, the best way to experience Valve's, Valve's perfect games. What was really funny is um, my aunt lent me Skyrim. I think I was like in middle school or high school at this point and I tried to play it. But the moment I turned it on, like someone's head got like chopped off and my aunt was like, never mind, I'm not letting you borrow this. It's too, it's, it's too violent for you. And I'm like, okay. Uh -huh. I can just see this on like YouTube. This was this was the early two thousand. This was like two thousand and eleven as well. So like this was the time when you could go on YouTube and see that in real life. It was very cool. Um, so I never just played Skyrim. I just after that that was like the la that was like the last window of me possibly playing Skyrim before I was like, wait, this game doesn't look fun. Uh, 
It's my only chance, and here we are. I'm a better person now because I never played Skyrim. Yeah, I mean, you never played Skyrim, and you, you're like one of the best people I know compared to all the people I know that did. <laughs> so true. That's how that works. Also, I I'll be right Skyrim back. I'm me. gonna go get my water bottle. I just realized I left it outside. Oh, you need to put a BR 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 thing on the screen. Oh, yeah. Some text that says beer beer beer. I mean, I'm not gonna take long, but. BRB pissing. Oh, a devil. There we go. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, there you are. It's a shame that Q's dead now. Yeah. Should we, like, get a funeral going? Wait, what? Um, we just throw him on the pile. Who's dead? You, Q's gone. Oh. They <laughs> took, took him away. Goodbye, Jester. Oh, okay. Oh! I'm back. He's risen. Bye. I love- I love how my VTuber, like, freaks out when I'm not in front of the webcam. They're like, what the fuck do we do? <laughs> okay. Back to this. He's alive again. I'm alive. Brian, beautiful picture. I'm jumping and jiving dancing. and living my living. I'm so glad that I possess two gym badges. Whoa, for real? Honestly, I, I the know. best way the best way to play a new Pokemon game is to just have a completely different team every time you tackle a new quest. It makes the oh, game a lot harder, and more engaging. It's it's been fun. It's been this one's genuinely fun. Despite despite all my rage, despite all the bugs, I'm still getting plenty of hugs. Um, despite you know everything wrong with this game, it it, it does a lot right. Well, I mean, compared to like every, I uh, maybe maybe I'm just like, the last one that I played was Sword and Shield, Sword which and was Shield, which was terrible. Sword and Shield is not good. I mean, the the worst part is I think the character designs in Sword and Shield were all really good. Like, mm. character wise, with the exception the 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 two the two main villains, those guys suck. Oh, Swordbert and Eggbert and or yeah. whatever. I'm glad to hear that they both died in a blimp crash. <laughs> I I I like all the characters in Sword and Shield. It's I will say, Sun and Moon is bad. Sorry to any Sun and Moon fans out there. I did not enjoy Sun and Moon. If you're a Sun and Moon fan in this chat, die. <laughs> Don't say that. That's evil. Sorry. I mean, live. Live. Um, Oof. like, Sword and- S Sun and Moon was, like, agonizing to me. It took me forever to, like, get through it, and then, I don't know what possessed me to do it, but then I got Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I was like, wait, this game's actually fun. I don't even think I beat Sun and Moon, I think I- I don't even think I beat the main story because I was just so bored. I think I beat Ultra the, Sun the and whole... Moon. I, yeah, I, I never got that one because I played Sun and Moon and I was like, okay, maybe maybe I just don't like these games anymore. Maybe this isn't my thing. Um, but apparently apparently not. I just... Who knows? Maybe maybe we'll get one as good as, as uh, Hot Gold and Soul Silver one day. I mean, I will say Black and White were, were also really solid games. Oh, probably. Like I, I actively oh, probably, and by probably I mean definitely. I I just didn't play those ones, so oh, you don't should. have as much nostalgia for them. I I'll give them a go. It's my favorite. The only thing is Sunny Moon let you walk with your Pokemon. I wish walking with your Pokemon was actually like fun in the new game. But like with the bike there's no point. Because like if you run too far away from your Pokemon they just go back into your Pokeball and then like, you're gonna have to walk at a snail's pace, let them run around so it doesn't make any fucking sense. And you're mm. gonna be on that bike most of the time anyway. 
This felt like a feature that they added without thinking about how it would react to other, like, features it would add. I don't know, like, Skyland Vite has its problems too, and this is coming from someone that's been playing it a lot recently. Like, it's fun. It is, it is very buggy. It is fun. Um, it's buggy. I, it, I maybe maybe I'm just liking the fact that this is what an open world should be close. And again, it's not perfect, but but it. I, I feel like they've just fixed a lot of the things. While well, they've introduced a lot of other issues, they've fixed a lot of issues that. Well, it's Salt and Shield had. It's like technically an open world, but not really. Like what would make it a pure pure open world is if the specific gym leaders scaled with how many badges you had mm. but all of their levels are fixed so there is like a, an optimal order to do them in and and like that's what I, I just wish that they scaled and I also wish that like I don't know Uh, mm, I don't know. I do like it a lot more than Sword and Shield, though. Oh god, I enjoy yeah. it a lot more than Sword and Shield. What? I don't even think I beat Sword and Shield, did you? Uh, yeah, I didn't do the endgame stuff. Um, I didn't get as- I didn't get as into it as I wanted to. Um, I think- I think it was the fact that a lot of it relied on like, I, I beat the main game, but I didn't beat the DLC. I think it's because a lot of it relied on sort of the fake open world that they had that was just a, a pathway but big. Mm -hmm. um, and just after a while, it became really tedious. Whereas, you know, in this, one, in this one, at least, I don't know, things feel a little more... It's, again, not perfect, but things feel a little more like an actual place. Mm -hmm. Also, I will say, character models look a lot better. They do. The best, I, you but... know, I thought I'd hate the style they've gone for for the for the people in this one, but they've gone with they've gone some fun designs for gym leaders and individual characters, so it it kind of works. Uh, the only thing is, why are some of the students like so much older than you? Why are why are yeah? What is the? I would be I would be totally fine with it if it, they let you pick your character's age as well, because it's weird that. We like all your characters are stuck as being I don't know like how how old are the characters, but then there's the option for other people in this school to be sixty or seventy or four years old. There's no in between. I want my I want my trainer to be on his deathbed. I want him to be pushing hundred and ten. Oh, imagine imagine if you can play Pokemon as like an elderly person. Yeah. Imagine if old people could enjoy things. Fortunately, we live in a world where this isn't true. Like, I'll say I it, I more. like the new Pokemon game. Yeah, I'm having fun. Um, do I like it more I mean, than other games? games? Absolutely I'm not. Fun. It's just- Oh, no, no, no. I would better describe it as my current brain war more than anything. Um, yeah. Well, in the same way that we've all been playing Planet Coaster, by we've all, I mean you and I and nobody else on the planet. <laughs> um, it's it's like that. It's a fun thing to do with friends. Yeah, I will say multiplayer definitely feels really fun. Um, I just it's yeah. this game makes me want to play Bloodborne or Elden Ring, like an open world or or a fun game. Actually, no, Pokemon makes me want to play Elden Ring because I'm like I want to play an open world that actually is cool. I to be fair, like like. Elden Ring also doesn't scale their enemies according to where you are, but I feel like it's easier to do in Pokemon where you can literally just adjust the levels. Yeah. But, um... You could still... I don't know. But Chicken Little makes me want to play Bloodborne, because I'm like, I want to play an actual easy game, please. <laughs> Chicken Little is, is infuriating in the way that it is. It is difficult because it's bad as opposed to Blood Bomb, which is difficult because it is challenging. It it's also just like it's it's a beast. It's an evil little beast. 
One day I'll be Chicken Little. Today's not that day, though. One day. One of these days. One of these fucking days. I should do more art streams. This is this is nice and chill. And I'm not playing Chicken Little, so it's kind of like an extra win for me. You don't like bite and, and scratch. I'm about to way. shake things up. I cut the break lines. Wild card. Wild card. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. How have you all got shinies so far? I haven't seen a single one. That's because they're supposed to be rare. Unless you like are like me and see a shiny the moment you open the game. Yeah, you found out a shiny wiggly guy just within seconds. I like how you were able to tell where I was too. Yeah, it's like it. Yeah, I mean, I saw I saw it and I was like, oh, I know that area because I've been there because I've been to that area. Mm -hmm. It was just infuriating. It's like, how did you get a guy there? I'm trying to catch silly birds right now. Ah. I love hanging out with my friends who I love. I'm thinking I'm thinking next time I draw art, maybe I won't have like my giant hand covering everything. I think that would be funny. Or not as well, it wouldn't be as funny, but I think it would be more readable. I think there's there's a certain a certain quality to this that's like charming and silly in some kind of way. You think so? Yeah, I think it's got a little bit of swag. forgot about I forgot about the hand which hand the hand's good the big hand oh yeah you like it yeah I do <laughs> ah, jump scare jump scare I love jump scares Oh, uh, so, um, uh, my, my stepdad sent me an email that only, that, and the, uh, the subject is just rats. Rats. Oh. Uh, it just says rats. And then the only, the only thing in the body of the email is a link to a Yahoo News article about how, uh, there, there are police uh, forces in India that are blaming, uh, like, uh, contraband going missing on rats. Rats. Um, yeah. Rats. Yeah. So, like, uh, like you know, like, like a, like a, like fourteen thousand dollars worth of marijuana disappeared, and they were like, "Oh, the rats ate it." <laughs> okay, yeah, I believe that. Yeah. Or, uh, or like, uh, another time, like, uh, a huge quantity of, like, confiscated alcohol disappeared, and they were like, the rats drank it all. And then, How do you know? an investigation I revealed you know. that, an investigation revealed that, uh, actually a cop sold it to a local gang. Uh, right. and then after that, uh, the same thing happened again, where a bunch of confiscated alcohol went missing, and they were like, the rats did it. 
the rats. Yeah. Uh, uh, hold on, wait. Uh, I'm trying to, let me, let me go back through, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, they, they claimed that rats ate through, um, 581 kilograms of marijuana. Um, uh, and then, uh, and then, uh, the, and then, like, uh, another, another police department said that, uh, that the rats had drunk 1,400 cartons of seized liquor worth over $40,000. <laughs> I do that every Monday. Walk <laughs> And then, uh, and then, uh, a couple years before that, uh, more than a thousand liters of alcohol had disappeared from, uh, from a police storehouse, uh, in the same department. And the police blamed rats. Uh, they also claimed that rats destroyed um, a bunch of uh, a bunch of money stored in a state bank, um, and uh, and and the news article ends with uh, with uh, uh, the rats appear to have developed a strong taste for the unholy trifecta of human vices: money, drugs, and alcohol. We love you, rats. Mm -hmm. All the rats can steal. Mm -hmm. It appears these rats have learned how to use the safe. I mean, I just remember that story about the rat that, like, crawled into an ATM and then ate, like, $10,000 and then died. Whoa. What a way to go. That, that is a good way to go. Yeah. Oh, I caught Raffle. To forget our dear old rat boy. Me too could forget. I feel so rusty. I haven't painted in so long. I'm having fun. I don't feel rusty. I feel less rusty. What'd you say? Oh, yeah. I said, don't feel rusty. Feel feel less rusty. Feel lubed, lubed and shoved. Feel greased up like a like a little little guy going down the slide, slip and slide. Twenty great awesome balls. Go on the toilet, what will they do? I'm sitting here for, for pleasure. I like your long greasy hand. Thank you. You're welcome, Baba. I love you so much, Baba. I'm gonna kiss you <laughs> on the eyes. Ah! <laughs> I sold... I, I don't know who's in chat, but I also do need some good recommendations for some new Twitch emotes, because I, I I did reach a certain amount of subs like a while back, so I need to uh, make some more. Or at the very least, commission someone to make more. I'll do them for free. Whoa, real? Yeah, because I like doing funny things. I was thinking of actually like commissioning Chris. Matt. Oh, commission Matt. Now for the fun part, which is me rendering the fucking toilet that I'm sitting on. God damn. <laughs> oh, 
little toilet boy. A little toilet boy. Why didn't I just like copy and paste the photo of a toilet? Why am I doing this? <laughs> what am I doing? I literally had a photo of a toilet. Yeah, I was wondering why you didn't just copy paste it. I think it's and funny. I was like, oh, it's because you're a perfectionist. I understand. <laughs> no, I think I'm just silly. I think I'm just like silly. No, I think it's because you're so genius. That brain of yours is so swollen inside that skull. Get it out, lol. Well. I think it's funny. I think it will be fun. The toilet, what will they do? You're not even using the toilet, you're having a little drink. <laughs> so true. I mean, I think it looks fine. It looks like a toilet. This is just honestly this was just more of a tiny stream so I can experiment with the new hand thing I made. It looks great, it looks fantastic. A little distracting, but I like it. I think it's funny that it takes up most of the screen. Oh yeah, I think the more inconvenient and stupid it looks, the better. <laughs> I do think like next time I stream I might just like keep the tablet and not have the giant hand in front. But it's up to you, Bubba. It's up to me. It is my stream after all. Yeah. Balls in your court, Q. Grab it with both hands and bite down. I'm not gonna bite into any balls. Balls in your court. What are you, what are you talking about? You sink, sounded... your, sink your teeth into it and shake and snarl. You sound insane. You could always make the hand a bit more transparent to show what's more, more on me. I could do that. That does make more sense. <laughs> it does. Give it a go. Give it like a... You have fifteen percent transparency. I could just also make the arm smaller, or not even have it there at all. There's a lot of different choices. Just your holding. Very different. Ooh. I'm yawning now too. Uh, everyone, stop yawning. Oh, I'm gonna really start much. yawning. It's time for me to go make dinner. Can you go make me some, like, maybe some delicious, like, grilled mackerel, please? Can you make me, um, a McRib? I think Endo's not in their room anymore. <laughs> Could I have, like, a, like, a, like, a, maybe, like, tuna sandwich, please? Tuna sandwich? Tuna sandwich? 
I'm gonna eat seven cans of tuna and let it rip. Please don't. Uh, you don't live here. What do no, you have? Right. What do you have Sorry. to worry about? <laughs> What if I made this toilet really dirty? Just make it really shit looking. Yeah. Yes. Just add like God knows what everywhere. I can't even remember. It's one second. Oh. Bye, Endo. Bye, Endo. Endo down. Endo's dead. I'll put you there. Yeah. Sorry, I'll try and take my meds. I'll take your meds. You need to do that. That's important, right? Yeah, I forgot to take them like 12 hours ago, so. Whoops. Beautiful. What a beautiful garden. I think I'm almost done. I just need to add a couple more things. I need to make him wet. That's the big thing. Just so, just so moist and damp and wet. I don't like it. You don't like it? I don't want to be mean, I just don't like it. Sorry, I don't like that lifestyle. Lou, when will you I think like of streaming it. again? I, well, I keep saying, oh, I'm gonna stream, and then I, like, you know, just lose all motivation to do anything. You know how it is. Um, That's fair. You know, I'd like to do it sometime, but, yeah. Who knows? Who knows when that will be? Yeah, I need to. I need to be in a relaxed mood, and I'm never relaxed.
I think you can do it. I think you should do a stream where you review uh, different sodas. Soda. Oh, we only have three sodas here. Oh? I thought you had at yeah, least four. All, all different kinds of Pepsi. Wow. Why I love Pepsi so much. It's all we got. Everyone all, I knew growing up. Have. Everyone I knew growing up, like, hated Pepsi. Well, I'm an outcast, an outlier. Well, you're also not American, so that might factor in. Society. Yeah, our our sodas taste different. Our Pepsi's different to yours. Our Coke's different to yours. Is there less sugar, or...? Um, I think there's less. The best thing I ever had was, uh, in Kenya, I had um, Fanta, and that was almost entirely sugar, and it physically hurt to drink and tasted really good. Oh god, how um, much sugar was in it? It was it was an insane amount. It was it was so sweet. I felt physically sick, but it tasted really good. <laughs> Everyone should have some. Okay, time to make this toilet really dirty. Time to time to stink up this this porcelain hole. My my little throne. Oh, yummy. I need to go do some dinner related things, but I will be back in a little bit. Oh, see ya. I'll think of I might be done by then. Oh, yeah. Right. That's fair. Well, maybe then I'll just hop out. Oh, see ya. Oh. You can flush me down the toilet. Whoopee! Ah. Let's go. I'm, I'm sat on this. this I'm, sat, I'm currently sat on your shoulder. Yeah, you are. Hello. Hi. Anyway, I'm going to go flush myself down the toilet. See you later. We love you, Ron. Bye bye. Oh my God. Bye, Ron. Okay. We love you, Ron. I'm hoping that I'll be able to do more art streams when I'm not doing NTA work anymore. That would oh, be a hopefully. dream. That would be yeah, a dream. Yeah, that would be cool. Life could be dream. Life could be dream. Beautiful, beautiful work. You've done it again. You've done it again. You greased up this bowl just like the best of them. You did it, Captain. You know what we should all watch? By that I mean me and my friends. We should watch The Nutcracker. Whoa, which one? Uh. The, uh. The ballet. Either that or. We could free watch the Barbie one. Barbie's Nutcracker. Barbie's Nutcracker. My favorite. Have you seen it? I have seen it. I remember we we watched it recently. I watched it as a kid. Um, and we watched it again fairly recently. Cause well, a chunk of it. And I, the bit that I remember from watching it as a kid was that it was great. And the bit that I remember from watching it as an adult is boy, all those textures are greasy. Um, it's, it's like, it's like watching a PS1 cutscene, but it's great. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey, this is making me feel kind of, kind of sick, if I'm totally honest. What do you mean? The normal toilet. Yeah, sure. I, I believe you. Whatever, you just don't get it. You just, you just, you've never been, you've never been inside of an American bathroom at Cracker Barrel. Yeah, I've never, I've never been to the Patriots room. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm receiving messages.
and four. Time to make me shiny. Yeah, grease this boy. Yeah, put the drips in the drool. I feel like that's like my favorite part of, of doing, of drawing. Just making like stuff look really shiny. It's good. I think it works. I do. This is good. I love these little those little beads of, of drippiness. It's great. I might I might ask for you some of your advice on uh, on doing textures on something that I was painting. Oh textures? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm the best at drawing textures, but I feel like I know a decent amount. Well this is good. You're gonna you're doing a good job here. glad though last time i was trying this i i didn't stream this but i was testing out like all of the uh stuff on screen in order to see what it would run like and everything was lagging so bad because i had only oh. one stick of ram and it was eight gigs well now you got 32 of those bad boys in there yeah now i'm winning I'm wondering if I should stream Bloodborne at some point. I probably should, right? Oh, oh that would be good. I'd love that. You get to watch me play Bloodborne. Yeah, and I get to not play it myself. Maybe, hey, maybe one day it will be on a... Maybe. It will maybe be on day. the PC. Maybe one day they'll bring it to my special console. I know what I was saying before. Oh, there's no reason to own a console anymore. You only have PC games, but Bloodborne's a reason. I feel like, I feel like, honestly, that's the only reason. My it is literally the only reason to get a PS4 at this point. I mean, Either that or, this... or getting one that somehow still has a copy of PT on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, apparently PT can run on PC now. Uh, yeah, I think someone modded it. Yeah. They, uh, got it running on PS5 and, uh, straight afterwards got it on PC, so, uh... I want to see that. I want to get my got my sticky sticky paws all over that thing. Which yeah. like you got your sticky paws all over this toilet seat. It seems this is. You know how, is, how are you doing this? This looks great. You don't like the awful toilet seat I've created. I, I love the the slimy guy. I don't like the you. The what? The, Not the... the you. I like I, I I like the slimy guy. I don't like the 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 A horrible toilet hole itself. Yeah. Oh, I can make it worse. No, I don't know. It looks like a thousand truckers have used it. <laughs> I honestly, I think most of my textures come from like two or three brushes in terms of like how to make stuff look horrible. Like, honestly, like, the rock one. like so. So the way my teachers in school would describe it is like when you draw on the computer, there's always like that like san sanitized way like digital paintings look you know what i mean where it's like you can tell it's painted but it's like done with like in photoshop like that kind of brush technique so what you do to fix that is just add like a million textures on top as like the final as the final thing and it can make any painting look good because the texture hides a lot of what you didn't finish oh well i'll be doing that 
I'll be I'll be using those texts just to have it guide me. Yeah, because if Is you look, good? like if I were to remove all the textures I did, it's pretty plain looking. Like it's 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 rendered, but when you add the 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 gross textures everywhere, it's suddenly it's like ewy ewy patooey Ew. stinky, Ew. you know. Stinky. Ew. Yuck. Ew. I like it. It's good. It's good. Yuck. <laughs> I look like I'm covered in afterburn. Maybe you are. Maybe I is. Maybe you is. Maybe I do be. Maybe I do be. Do be. Hmm. Anything else I should add to the toilet? That's kind of a big question. could make it grosser. That is a possibility. This is good. This is good, actually. You like it? Yeah. I also I notice this thing too is I don't I usually don't go dark enough for some of my pieces so I always have to go in later to darken up like some spots but that's more of uh, me forgetting Oh yeah, did you ever beat uh, Breath of the Wild when you were doing the recent playthrough with it? Uh, I got a good chunk of the way through. Um, I'm, I'm fairly happy with how far I got through. Uh, I got, I, oof, I beat Ganon. I, I did all four of the towers. I think I did eighty of the the shrines. I did eighty-ish of the shrines. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's just take it just takes a while. I, I you know I've taken a break, and um, I think once I've had a little break, I'll I'll probably get back to doing it at some point. And I don't know. It's 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 I love I love Breath of the Wild. It's, there's just a lot of it. Yeah, that's fair. I get it. I played it all, I think, like, within, like, a week, because I was like, well, I'm not going to be able to get anything done until I beat this game. So I guess that's what yeah. I'm going to do. I spent a really long time doing the DLC as well, because a good chunk of it, I would recommend you get a guide for, but I didn't end up looking up some of it, and when I really should have done. Mm -hmm. So I spent a good, a good solid week just, just getting the DLC sorted. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I've decided to make myself look grosser. No, 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 it's good, it's good, it's slimy, it's good drippings. Have it in your Sunday wets. My Sunday wets. Where did that come from? Sunday wets, I don't know. Because I've only ever heard you say Sunday wets. Uh, I heard other people say I don't know where it came from. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yippee. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is fun. This is very textureful. I look really gross. 
This is not no, good to look it's at. Great. Like the U looks fine again, but it is the toilet that is making me feel a little a little nauseous. Oh really? Yeah. For me it's like the, the really lovely string of intestines that that's my tail. Oh, I'm fine with that. Let me add some some little 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 cuts on this toilet, so that means people have been rowdy on it, you know. Oh, you like chipped it up a little. Yeah, that's what toilet do. Yeah, that's how that's how toilet work. get rid of the reference images because I don't need them anymore. There we go. Look, there I am. Oh, there you are. All, all greased up. All caked up with nowhere to go. Okay. <laughs> have you ever had like, have you ever gone to like a public restroom and you like really had to go but then you saw the bathroom and you're like, actually, never mind. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Multiple times. I, I can't poop in public. It's it's too it's too risky. I can't do it in nasty rooms. Gotta do it in a, in a good clean room. Like God intended. God intended. Straight into a hole that I found. Okay, how does the toilet look? Oh wait! How am I gonna flush it? Oh shit! Yeah, what's the handle? Oh, you can have like a like one of the ones that goes down from the roof. Oh, oh my god, you're a genius. How is it gonna connect? Who knows? With difficulty, who knows? I'm gonna do okay, that. Yes. I'm gonna do that, I think it's funny. And then when I come back from break, I just play a toilet sound effect. Yeah. That works. Okay, I think this is done. Now I just have to figure out the text. Uh, oh, lorem ipsum. Lorem ipsum? No, it can't be. B. Alright, oh. B. Alright. Back. Should I put a little heart? Yeah. There we go. And then I just have to change the color.
There we go. Oh, that's gross. Yup, yup, yup. There we go. All right, I think I'm done for now. So this was just a little experiment stream so I can test things out. But um, thank you all for joining. I'm gonna probably stream. <laughs> you were rendering. Oh, this is for my be right back sign so I can have something for when I need to go poo or pee or get a drink. Uh, Cause I don't wanna just people watch as like my VTuber just like starts acting funny when I disappear. Uh, so I just wanted an actual, like, be right back sign. That's why I made this. But, uh, in the meantime, thank you all for joining. Probably we'll stream Chicken Little next week. Yeah. Because we all love Chicken Little. Anyway, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Loving you. Bye.